All right, let's talk about some sports. 30 for 30 was the highlight of this past week. Definitely had a great, great vibe to it. Um, you know, a lot of stuff on Jordan, which is awesome. It looks like three and four are going to bring us more Pippen. And uh, Rodman info, which would be cool. Um, obviously, it's centered on MJ, as it should be. Uh, GOAT, as of now, he's a GOAT. Um, some of these highlights are absurd, obviously. But, um, you know, he's Jordan. Uh, one thing we always, you know, think about documentary wise is it going to go to, is it, I'm sorry, is it going to go more into the personal side of things? Um, obviously there's some backstory on Jordan, um, certain things he's dealing with, um, you know, gambling wise and, you know, whatever else, normal vices, everybody has them. Wonder if it goes into that. I know he was kind of signed off, um, or the one that signed off on this whole thing in general, so. You know, probably in his hands in terms of how much is going to be uh, described to the public. NFL draft is this week. Um, very excited for the Eagles to pick, hopefully a playmaker. Um, you know, but I'm hearing some rumors that Alshon Jeffrey may be traded. Uh, that would seem to be, you know, a salary dump situation. So we'll see. I don't really know what's going to happen, obviously. Uh, Joey Burrow, good luck to you in Cincinnati, my guy. That's gonna be tough I'm a big fan of two I think you stay healthy I do think that he had a Russell Wilson Drew Brees sort of moxie about him um able to do more with less um and I mean that when you talk about Russell Wilson the Seahawks I think at times not in the Super Bowl run but the past couple of years they've been you know they're a little under talented and I think Russell does a great job in propelling them and Drew Brees has been a stud ever since he's been in the league. Um, you know, guys that can get out of the pocket, guys that make plays, but most importantly, guys that are extremely accurate. And that's what two is. Receiver-wise, there's obviously the main four, Judy, Lamb, Ruggs, and Jefferson. I uh, would like the Eagles to get one of those four. I feel like those four. And, of course, you never know. Second-round, third-round pick in this draft can end up being the best receiver in this draft. But uh, I think those four, you know, could definitely be immediate impact guys um, worthy of that first round pick, whether it's 21, whether it's a trade up or trade down. We'll see. My personal favorite, C.D. Lamb. Really hoping for C.D. Lamb. Go 